Hey pilots, in just a second I'm going to show you another little gadget that I just found reasonably on Amazon. Hold tight and we'll do the unboxing. Hey guys and gals, Skip here. And yeah, we're trying out our new, uh, our new camera set up here. Uh, I do need to turn my screen around so I need to learn how to use this thing. Uh, we've got it, the external microphone turned off for indoor use. I think it's going to be better for, for outdoor use. We're going to find that out because just uh, prior to making this video, there, now I can see myself too. So you can vlog with this camera. I can see exactly what I'm showing and how I'm showing it and how it's going to look. Uh, but anyway, this is the Canon HF800, in case anybody's wondering. Uh, this is without the external microphone on it right now because I want to demonstrate something else that I found for this camera. Okay, this is the Task TaskStar SGC598. In case anybody's wondering, it's about $30 on Amazon, about $10 for the, for the dead cat. And it seems to prove pretty effective, uh, especially in the wind, because it's real windy out there right now, and I'm going to show a couple of clips uh, of just how windy it is. And I'm going to have a couple of comparisons using that microphone as well. But what I found on, online, I was looking for a light for indoor lighting. I'm always struggling with light in this house. And it's like uh, they, when they built this place, they didn't think about which way the sun came up and stuff. Either that or they didn't. They wanted it in shade all the time, judging by the two giant trees up front. So this place is almost always like a cave. So to take pictures and stuff like that, I've got to turn on every lamp in the house and all that kind of stuff. And I came across this on Amazon, and I was kind of curious about these RGB lights and, and stuff and stuff, and maybe I could use them on the top of my camera. You know, say perhaps when I'm doing a video walkthrough of my, my collection and stuff like that. So uh, without any ado, this is about $23, I think, on Amazon. Uh, it comes in a nice carry case. It's... Um, Made by Liadi. I'll leave a description at the bottom of this if you guys want to check it out. But again, another best bang for buck. I mean, I, I found this exact same model, exact model, for like $41 on eBay. So $23, that's a significant price difference. And it's a neat little unit. Uh, it, it comes with a shoe mount that you can attach, so you can put this right up to the top of your camera. Uh, it also comes with the carry case. It comes with a little hand grip, okay, in case you want to mount it or mount your camera. You can put this on a hand grip, okay. Uh, the grip itself also doubles as a, this is really, I thought, kind of cool. I thought I, they, they jipped me out of the tripod. Turns into a little tripod that you can also use for mounting this light. So you can position the light anywhere that you need it Is it using this little gizmo. Or if you're holding the camera, you can still just use the hand grip. But this will come in handy. It could be used for my mic. It could be used for the actual camera if I don't want to use the handle. So we're getting all these cool little gizmo attachments. Now this might be interesting to some of you guys out there. Uh, not this particular part. This is just a little uh, mini USB connector so that you can uh, charge your camera in case you don't have other other means but it'll, it'll charge right off of a cell phone charger uh, now this is the cool part I wanted to show you guys as well um, for those of you that they maybe don't have you know actual HD cameras or, or camcorders or you know video cameras as such DSLRs maybe you just got your telephone okay it comes with a phone mount that you can use as well either tripod or hand mount or you could put it on your the, the you know the big grip that I've got back there uh, but this stretches here, this bounces up there, and then you would just put your phone, you can still shoe in your mic, or your, your light, you can still put your light in up here, but uh, as you can see, it would hold your telephone as well. Well, it's got a pretty good strong uh, grip, and it's got uh, lips, rubber lips in here too, so it's not going to slide out, but it expands that far. I mean, that's actually a good maybe three and a half, four inches with a tight grip. So pretty decent deal guys all together for $23. But to show you how this thing works, this thing has 12 special effect modes. It's got, uh, I believe, nine different color lightings that it'll go through. 
and 12 different special effects. And I don't want to shine it right into the camera, so we're going to kind of go off the, off the angle a little bit. It's got one, two, three, four buttons up on top. One to turn it on and off, one for intensity, for brightness, up and down. The other one for changing your modes. And the other one has a double switch, so if you hold it long, it'll enter a mode. Press it one time short, it'll enter a different mode. Press it again, it'll go back to regular standard lighting. So here's our first light. Okay, now it comes on. I think I've got them turned up bright right now. But as you can see, I can dim it all the way down. Now I can change colors with these lights to bring out different colors in, in whatever I'm, I happen to be photographing. Okay, so we can do that. Uh, we can say, uh, say I want to do a lightning effect. Okay, let's just go over to the blue. Okay, that's blue. I'm going to hit the mode button. And it's going to start doing some modes. I'll hit it again. Go into mode two. Yeah, this thing's got police car, ambulance, fire engine, party one, party two, fast gradient, slow gradient, strobe one, two, photo flash, lightning one, and lightning two. Go into mode three. That looks like a, uh, well, depending where you live, that's either a cop car or a fire truck. Same thing again, basically. They mix up those colors. And it goes into a fast gradient where it starts showing all the different colors. And it'll do it slow. And it's strobe. And the light is just on and it starts doing this really cool color change, nice and slow. Gradual. And hit it back again. Does a slow gradual. And then this would be the lightning storm. Now, if I turn it up and put this light behind me, you could see the effects that it would actually kind of cause. It can create really cool lightning effects. Like, say I'm holding this box and, and I've got the, the light facing a different way. You know, you're going to see like thunder or, and lightning effects going on. You can do it with all the different colors. Uh, but really versatile, adjustable brightness, adjustable different different tones. So if you want to see your skin tone, um, let's tone this down just a little bit here. Okay, so I say I want, here's my skin tone. And say I've got this up on the camera, and I'm not happy with the way it makes my face look. I can go another another shade, which would be, here, let me get the camera out of this way. How's this? Another shade would give me a little bit better facial tone or even a better different tone yet. And depending on the lighting situation that you already have, you can use any other different color. Now you may have different colors on airplanes that don't show up real well and you want them to stand out, like a red. And in that case, you're gonna take a red and you're gonna to wanna to use like a pink. Like this color right here will make red stand out like a sore thumb. See, without, and then with. Big difference in, in showing the reds, guys. So, I mean, color and the pink can be used for, for you know, for your facial as well, for skin tone. Um, anyway, this has been Skip, showing you something new. I'll leave the link in the description for this light at the bottom of this video. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Again, just testing new toys, guys. Okay, just going through some normal settings with sound. This is what it sounds like on the camera in about a 10 to 12, maybe a 12 mile an hour wind right now. We're going to switch over to the uh, external mic. Okay, so now we're on the external mic. 
then I've got the uh, wind muff on. Here comes the wind again. That's a good 20 mile, 25 mile an hour gust right there. Now I want to try some of the settings on this uh, Tackstar SGC 598 external microphone. Now we're going to try the attenuation. This is with the base attenuation or base filter. I said this is with the base filter. I have to talk into the front of this microphone if I want it to work right. So I could still talk to you guys. I just have to be looking straight down through the viewfinder. Let's test our zoom. And that's not bad. Now 10 plus decibel for pickup gain. That's on right now. Okay, testing, one, two, testing, one, two. Listen for amb ambient noises and such. Let's see if I pick up what I'm aiming at. Should have caught that car horn. Catch this guy over here. Most off, low filter off. Didn't even hear his door close, did you? I didn't. <laughs> and it's getting pretty nippy out here. Storm coming in right about now. They said uh, 3 p.m. It's about 1, 1 o'clock. Six to seven inches and windy. So we'll have to see what happens. Thanks for watching. Another test of the Canon HF R800 with zoom capabilities, external mic. It's the Tackstar SGC598, all available on Amazon. You'll see the links that I've posted in other videos. And it's really ripping up a storm right now. It's really getting windy. Time to call it quits. See you guys later. Works good for a selfie. I wanted to see when the car went by, but I had the wrong button pushed and it was not recorded. Traffic car noise right now. Where has that black Anyway, we'll be testing the uh, wind noise muffling capabilities with this microphone. And see you shortly. Thanks for watching. It's been Skips. I'm out.